continue to impose curfew in the general Mountain View, Jake's Road, Jarrett Lane, Magra Gully communities to see how well we can further contain the violence which started in those communities. War had broken out in Mountain View after the local government elections of 2003. Within the space of about two weeks, there had been 13 killings in the communities all along Mountain View Avenue. And the Peace Management Initiative had been created to find ways of bringing people together to bring about um, a, a ceasefire. The PMI has been involved in the Mountain View community since January 2001 to 2002 up until now. There was a crisis situation in the community at the time. The Minister of National Security at the time thought that it would be a good idea to go in and use softer methods to deal with um, the guys involved in the conflict and to resolve some of the issues that were taking place at the community level. The Youth Foundation is an NGO that has been set up for 10 years now. We work with young people. We have a subtitle, we say Youth Empowerment Through the Arts. We're focused on violence prevention, healthy lifestyles. But our medium of expression is the arts. Music, drama, dance, visual arts, any art. gone out over the years we've brought in young people from communities around Kingston that have been experiencing a lot of violence to be frank. We set out at the very beginning to try and attract young people from across the borderline. So we went out into what the young people themselves call the war zones. We purposely went to places that had traditional rivalries. So we would go to Tivoli and Rima. We'd go to Tel Aviv and Southside. We'd go to Matches Lane. We'd go to Dunkirk. We went to places where Young people were afraid sometimes of even crossing the street because there was all this rivalry and enmity. We work with the young people collectively, get them expressing what they feel about themselves, their lives, their community, their aspirations. Then they translate it into some form of music, dance, poem, song. Every youth foundation was asked to try and get this detente, this ceasefire, this peace movement from around the round table and deeper into the community. We use the same strategy that we used back in 1997. We went out into the communities and we set up the music and the speakers. We created a noise, we attracted young people and we told them what we were going to do. They were invited to select five people from each community and these five people from each community would come together, work together on a program of what we called at the time community cultural animation but it was really a strategy for getting people together across the borderlines. I never knew people from Saunders Avenue, I never knew people from Jarrett Lane, I never knew people from 63. Reason being through the war but now through this now we get to meet a lot of people from these districts and they are people too and they are very nice persons. This group came together and we had a sustained intervention in the community for months which resulted in some levels of stability. Out of this stability, we formed the Mountain View Community Development Council. You know, Mountain View is made up of seven different districts, from Nannyville, Top Range, come right down, to Burger Gully, and Mark Burger Gully, to the Longstown Roadside. And our whole vision is to unite districts across the area, to operate as one community, to foster peace, development and progress for the youth and youth them. That's our aim and objective. This committee was supposed to now serve as a sustainable mechanism of making sure that conflicts in the community are managed properly, that if a pin drops, somebody is there to call somebody else. Sometimes them kick off over a little girl, you know. Sometimes a little man in a dance and little juice out of a cup spill, it starts right there, so. Little say, 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 little year, say. A man see a man face bend up on some boy, and a boy bend up him face for me this morning and move to him. And I right there, so the gun thing kick off where people in place where a reason for you going, and instead of reasoning going, a gunshot fire. So uh, that, uh, that's how we were really hurt. Uh, that's how we really lose out. Like the honor, so, not the mountain view here yeah, from a boy, from a 12 year old. And 
Now them time where Mount View was nice. When it come up to a period that's that was that was not the sixties and not the seventies, but coming up to the late seventies and to the eighties, you know the political thing. Mountain view get bad, real bad. See, it's a divideation between the politics between PNP and JLP, and man start war. You know, from man start war, you now we just war and the whole place just chigger off and get messed up. Well, it, it run off in a period in the 80s, in the 90s, coming up in the 2000, you have things get excavated, that's the war get real red. Well, it happened, that's the peace management step in and decide to go on with that thing, so them can create atmosphere of peace between the fact and them that fighting, you know. Well, right now, I as well learn peace management is a system where create a great atmosphere between man and man because man and man whenever I talk it give them a good understanding that them could have dialogue amongst one another at the same time and start deal with the war thing them can call a man and say what that John and come to an understanding that we break it down. There was a conflict in the Nannyville area which all of us from each district rushed to it and the problem was solved. The same day the problem solved. You have other districts when there is a thing between Burger and GX Road, we could go on the phone and call Kali, Kali call two of them and we meet and it's solved. We have to give thanks for the peace management initiative and to Yera Youth Foundation we bring in the balance because Yera Youth Foundation we really balance the thing and carry the youth them together in a harmony and tranquility to music and come together like session and all them thing there so it's a thing where me feel i mean no say it's a good work i mean personally i would like it um continue because if it stop it's like i personally see the community going come back in a turmoil the area has been relatively stable up until the the last general election held last year. The thing is going to escalate when politics time comes on. Because I don't know what they want to know. When they go to Jack Lane, they don't know Jack Lane, they're different from Jack Show. When they go to Jack Show, they don't know Jack Show, they're different from Jack Lane. The whole so of the youth know, them did a rotate and a mix up, you know. Okay. Till the whole of the allegations start to left, right, and center, and some like a rumor start spread, and people start all them borders and all them boundaries. and. Friend I kill, friend and friend I shoot off a friend. Cause to the end of the day, the whole of the youth are my friend. And sometimes the situation sticky, but a good people down there. Yeah. From the intersection with Dinner Road down, the mixed of communities tend to be uh, represent a kind of political pluralism. I suppose you could call it um, tribalism. The result of it is that frequently there are conflicts, but not all the conflicts are political. There are conflicts which result from people's personal interrelationships. There are conflicts that result from misunderstandings. There are conflicts that result from community differences, not necessarily political community differences. The bigger brother, he made their prison at the time still, but he didn't know dream course in life. He make a, a lot of enemy. So me, in return, inherit them enemy there. So going to High school, you know, the enemy them, like them say, me go a big no one, I say, boy, your brother do bad things, you know. So it's like, I mean, them a turn the thing pan. So from this, so I decide to, eh, I know I'm through my birth thing. No boy come do me nothing. So I just decide from them time to go into high school when I see how the breeze are blow. I say, eh, I have to pick up my thing, I know. No boy killed me for my brother thing. As some other persons had put it, it is basically a fight for scarce benefits. If I'm in government, I will get the benefits. If you're out, you're out. It wasn't a situation whereby when the party wins and becomes the government, it was now Jamaica's turn. It was seen as though it is my party's turn and you get none. It is a winner-take-all situation. They find that when they are not in government, they get nothing. 
the communities of Backbush and Jarrett Lane has always had skirmishes. In the last six years, those communities have really not had any type of skirmishes. The problem that you see down there most times is always between Jarrett Lane and Jake's Road or 63, which is on the other side of the road, and which is another constituency. So that when you look at it, you wonder if there's a political reason for um, for this kind of skirmish. Politicians, they're not hypocrites, you know, for the more go crazy if you talk anything them please. But if I just you as an individual or a group of people want to believe it, you hear them say them are part with gun thing and ah gun man for this and that and that. But when your time I need them a car for the gun man, them are come when you come secure the constituency, you have a look man there give some trouble and we say my future legions. And then why you come with your Bible, then why you come with your gun? Peace can come back to East Kingston. That only depends on us, as youth and youth, who born and grow in Mountain View. And really need to see the place come back to the chain where it was. Because I'm going to show the youth them a different way of life. The whole thing has been broke down. Because youth to strain and things will happen. But you have to have somebody. You have to have a set of people who have to constantly remind, constantly reminding the youth them that the gun is not the only way out. And once you have people that push positive movements, positive things in you know, the youth them head, the youth them will follow suit, you know? We are very happy that the Area Youth Foundation stepped in again. We worked with them before when they came into the community and developed a cultural group that played a major role in building bridges between communities that were crossing borders. In Jamaica we have a tradition which is run a boat when people in the community get together and they cook food and share it. So we went around and we got companies to give us food. We got chicken and rice and cooking oil and all of that. And each community was challenged to host all the others. And we call it the peace boat. Each community was to have a talent show. So we went from community to community and then for the finale, the winners of all the talent competitions took part in a multi-community talent show that was called Mountain View Harmony Splash. We decided to do the current project with the Mountain View communities now because since the elections of last year, a lot of the peace and community unity that was created was mashed up. There's been a renewal of all the violence and the young people are traumatized again. Violence is really tough, you see, because when I go to school, so my time can't go. When I want to play football, I can't play football because she will be a shit of fire. I can't come from the back, come up and ride a bicycle. I have to stay in my house, go on the stuff, nobody else gets shot. Yes. I have to listen to the time people are coming, you see, it, and them think I'm very stressed out. So when I'm brother and one of my sisters, they're gone. I love if all of the borderline they broke down, okay, I want go up at work and go play two football and link up a friend them back again. Holy <laughs> <laughs> pop flat, let me play them there and the rasta man, yeah. Come. The rasta man. Yeah, man, a fella, man. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. 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 As I'm telling you, Mountain View, Warwick Isle, Sanders Lane, 72, Gerard Lane. Yeah, it's a nice it's community, you know? Yeah, a whole heap of things in the community. We have a football, field, centre in the community. You know? For the youth, they can play, play football. Girls, they can play netball. So the community are really, and they're really a violent community. There's more time, as I'm telling you, politically, you know? And such individuals, too. So I just them bring it to our demands to be a violent community, but it's just a virus. I don't know joy in the community, only for activity in the community. I've been living in Top Rain for 18 years now, and it has been fun. I mean, my community is a very fun place to be. Yeah, we have our own dance crew and thing and thing. Yeah, 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 yeah L-Stitch. L-Stitch never stitch. To the world. However, sure. being that sure. Top Range is a part of Mountain View and Mountain View is known for its high crime and violence, it affects me personally because 
I don't like watching the news and hearing about persons dying, especially within Mountain View, knowing that I live there. And when I go out there and say, people say to me, where do you live? And I'll say, Mountain View. You know, the first thing that comes to their mind is a place of war and violence. Mountain View and all other are one community in one and violence is just separating us and it's causing the kids them to grow up in a community to grow with violence and hate. I think they need to stop it. We thought we'd try and get them together again using the same principles of music and drama and having fun. So what we're doing now is we're meeting with a group of young people from each of the districts from Nannyville up by the stadium all the way down to Winwood Road. Yo, Mr. Bless up, yeah man, I just live now. Yes, I'm a driver. A bus each day starts at the top of Mountain View and comes right along and picks them up from their various communities and they come here to the YWCA. We're making up a song, we're making a music video of the song. At the very beginning, of course, they didn't know each other. We played name games and we did icebreakers. We did things that made young people laugh. the people from different, different communities to build a song. It's very good because I enjoy it so much and I meet a lot of new friends. In this project I still make me learn a lot still in situation that different different communities, seven district and more of you, we go go across, come back across the borders. Because some person means you never use a gun either. So it helps me learn certain things still differently still. Most of the people who are in Warren districts are actually becoming friends. At first sight, you would probably think that they were some bad boy or bad girl, but if you get to know them, you get to see that there's nothing like that. They're very talented and good people. I feel like I'm a family that I talk to, I'm a friend of them every day. I just feel good, normal, I'm 15. Like a family, you know? No matter where they live or where they come from, same people. <laughs> Everybody for need to come together because when time at the end when politics done, everybody same way, everybody has take the same bus. I like say one one bus orange, one bus green. Yeah. And nothing. Because everybody are gonna mix and mingle. We gave them exercises to do, like drama exercises where they could make up something and, and, and perform it. Bring forward talents where I didn't even know say they're in a certain community because I don't really get the chance to go in it like that. Yeah, so I think it's a great move, a great step towards our thing and it's a motivation. What we would like our the video to, to be would be like to be sending a message out there to the youth. We want it to also be hype, something that can actually get through to the youths them. We want it to talk about like violence, rape, abstaining from sex and child abuse. To get them from that stage now to actually creating a song, what I did was put them to work in small groups and gave each little group a topic and told them that they could spend 15 minutes figuring out how they were going to show it to us and in what form. They could do it as a dance, they could do it as a song, they could do it as a poem, they could do it as a whatever. And that's really what gave rise to the chorus. One of the groups came up with something that we've now called the chorus. We had each group write a verse. I feel nice to be a part of the project because when the song do come out and the video do come out and we see peace, we see progress. I can say, yeah, you know, say I mean, help me cut the song and you know, say my community this song. I'm going to see the progress that go on. This song is just all about peace. I'm breaking down all the body like them. And that's what we want. 
And if you really sit down and tell them and sing it to them in a song, feel the more help them better in a song than to sit down and talk to them. The concept of the song, I'm not to lie, it's terrible. It's a feeling, everything. I love it. People must love it. I said, I said, I'll be a talented people in it. I will know where I go through, I will know what I will see. That's a nice place. Mountain View, a nice place. And the, the man of us knows it right now, a nice place. And I could kick it off now, but I'll give them more love. I and I would like a lasting peace for Mountain View, you know. You know what I'm saying? Because straight up, I tell the eye them that Mountain View is a place where, is a Commodore where, or from the airport. If you're coming from the airport and you're going anywhere uptown, you take Mountain View Avenue. You go straight up, you go Barbican, you go Red Hills, you go Constant Spring, you go wherever you want to go. If one shot fire anywhere along Mountain View, Mountain View in general suffer. It might be Nannyville, it might be Tap Range, it might be Bark Bush, it might be Jake's Road. It might be any one of the districts along the, the, the Mountain View belt. We suffer. Mountain View is a whole different community. A Mountain View not just have ghetto alone. You have middle class people, you have society people. You have a lot of business places up to the top of Mountain View come right down. We have college of Mountain View, we have high school. Right, we have primary school and them things that bring in a peace in a Mountain View and bring the togetherness in a Mountain View. It's great for Mountain View, you know saying? And that's what we would have liked to say in a Mountain View. I come together with the youth, them and big people come together and that's people from outside can buy into Mountain View because would I like to see Mountain View develop and develop good. When I heard about the project, I thought it was a fantastic project. How else can you actually get to the youth if you don't use music? Then when I heard what you were doing, that you were actually going to be bringing people from a number of different areas that usually don't get along and that you were able to bring them into a group and they were able to do something as positive as write a song together, decide to perform that song and get to become friends that will last much longer than the project. I think it's phenomenal. How could you not want to, put, to support a project like that? We have six soloists and now we're dealing with movement, the choreography. Well, the thing about working with these young people is you don't have to teach them dance movements. All you have to do is organize the dance movements that they already have. We love dance. Dancing nice, you see? Dancing make people come together and just have fun. So that part there, we love that part. We just contribute and give them a style and everybody just do it and give them it nice. We are sound to we. And the way we are singing it, we have feelings, we can feel it, you see it. She so say, yo, a real thing we are singing about, and true thing, because enough look at you that they don't there, you know. By the time a queen is a look at you that I go bury, you know, more than one, you know. Be a look at you that I follow the cemetery, you know, so. We have to make them know, realize. Down to the baby we are grew up, I live it till we are daily, than one love, and peace, and unity. What we're doing now is we're recording the song. We have the Area Youth Foundation crew members who are doing the backup tracks and the Mountain View community kids doing their solo pieces. Ma! Ma! <laughs> you can hear now? Yes. You can hear now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear now? We. <laughs> have been involved with the Air Youth Foundation since its inception in 1997. I work in the capacity of a musical director. Air Youth is a wonderful place for a youngster. Most of the songs that we create in Air Youth come from our soul and I guide the process in a way that will give the, the youngsters a chance to shine at their best. And these youngsters came with the kind of material that I could shape into something wonderful. They know what it is to be in a situation of peace. So when the community is thrown into a situation where you can't move freely from one part of it to another, 
it makes you long for that time when you could do that, you know. And so anybody who's going to create out, out of that environment will almost automatically want to create something that, that begs for a change. The world with, with all our love and care. What about the things you used to share? What about the things we used to share? The youngsters that we are working with now from Mountain View, they have been a, a part of a process of collective creation for this song. And I am very proud to have been a part of the process. I think that the young people benefited from, from being a part of the process also in, in that they, they realized that every single one of them is in the same boat. Every single one of them is singing the same song. Uh, and even though they are from different communities, that song, you know, is one song. Uh, and, and everybody needs to come together to make sure that the scourge of crime and violence is removed from the community. It's a good thing to be doing this music video. The words and the things that we are talking about in the song is practically a message to send to the people in a mountain view to stop the crime and violence. Well, as usual on a video shoot, we're running very, very late. We're fighting the sun. We're trying to finish this thing before dark. I'm up against time, uh, so let me get on with it, I'll see you later. I first was introduced to Sheila Graham from Area Youth a number of years ago because uh, Area Youth were involved in the making of uh, Third World Cop. Sheila contacted me and said, look, would I be willing to come and help in terms of making a music video and also helping with this uh, documentary project. It was fantastic being there during the rehearsals, you know, seeing how they came together and then trying to help them in orchestrating the dance moves and how that they were going to be moved around within the video. So the first time you come halfway, everybody sings the chorus, second time you come all the way in. And, and once she comes in, that's the cue for you to all to go in. All right? Working with these kids, you know, obviously they come from difficult backgrounds and you kind of got involved in them in, and in their lives. I mean, like some of them were there, they were, they were unable to go to school, they hadn't got the money together yet. They didn't want to go to school because they didn't want to cross over this side to go to school and that was a war and, and clearly, you know, they were frustrated by the inability to move around freely within their mountain view areas. So we shot the music video in the seven different districts, you know, with people from each one performing within their own and then everybody coming together. Yeah. All right, ready again. Video. All right. This is the type of thing I like to see. I don't like to see videos about more bands. I want to see a video with other children them coming together and tell, actually telling the adults them to stop it because we as children should be listening to them, but now they have to listen to us. And them thing that the youth them really love to see in them community and even can see about them thing where them are dealing in the community pan TV people internationally can see them thing too. Working with the kids there, you know, some of them they all want to learn, they all want to be part of the creative process and come in with ideas and, and it's terrific and I just hope that there is a future project that we'll be able to collaborate on again. We need more plans to keep the youth them focused and balanced because right now them are half key, you know. And once we can balance them back, we won't have the problem there because Right now the youth them don't focus and are the senior people like we have to keep them focused and I want we can keep them focused when we have activity for put them in a What I would hope to see is much more of these kinds of projects occurring. 
I would like to see the different communities getting along and not going along political lines, but actually working as Jamaicans. Jamaicans, you're a wonderful, a wonderful country with beautiful people. The youth are very talented, extremely talented, and I think it's important that we try and help them get to the point where they can be productive and they can actually give back to society. It is a good effort as it relates to uniting the youth, but I think that they need to analyze the situation a bit better to find out the root cause of the problem because every problem has a root cause. And you know, sometimes egos have been bruised. I may take a few youth from the community and say yes, but are these the persons that it is really affecting? Because some people look at it and say, that is not my thing. That doesn't affect me any at all. Coming together in cultural explosion is an excellent way of bringing youths together. But it has to be sustained. After you have the song and the dance, you're hungry the next day. You know, many of us say to them, don't go out there and don't shoot and don't do this. And that's all right. That's what we are to do and what we are to say. But the facts it we have to put the works behind that. Why the police process? I tell you. Why? It can work. And I see it at work. You see? But it be a long way off still. But I think with good resources to the relevant authority them we have bring the peace initiative them with good resources you know and more time you know for this thing wasn't a one day problem so you now go fixing a one day but the direction where the peace people them are take the thing are the right direction and the positive direction and a change did that to come you know and the right change so it can work it can work no one in a one year and all year as it can work. I don't them know how to come in and bring an equilibrium, a local balance, you know, to all of the factors them who are warring each and individual community. Get everything on a balance that's every man can say happy days. A lot of people ask me about whether I think we've had an effect on the peace process. I know that the young people themselves, it has had an effect on them. It has had an effect on them, it has had an effect on their immediate family, maybe their, even their immediate community. I know that it could have had a much greater effect if the Air Youth Foundation had been able to garner the kind of support. The financial support, the public support, the private sector, the government to really do the work that we know how to do. This is something that we have to continue. This is something that has been proven to be very effective. It's good. The parents have gotten together, the communities have gotten together, but more importantly, the children and the youth have gotten together. This is the way of the future. This is something we have to support. I want to congratulate all of them for having done such hard work and for getting a product that I think is going to be fantastic. I believe that there is a lot of hope. I am committed to ensuring that we don't have these outbursts, especially relating to politics, and that the political representatives should not use the people as a kind of feeding tree. They use them for votes and use them for, for support, but that the peace management, the professional process of community building and violence prevention should be allowed to go forward. In truth and in fact, um, before now, whenever a dispute arise, young members would just think about firing shots. Hey, rise the gun, fire shot. Mm. Now, a mechanism is in place, or if somebody draw allegation that some, uh, another person from Burger really breaks some form of rules that was laid down, they would call um, Busy, call King from Burger. Hey, look here you now, that boy misbehaving you know, try to deal with him. 
then okay. we in turn now would you know get that person you know engage in some form of conversation and find out you know what really took place then relate back to the community that this was a situation xyz right. the person is here now we have dealt with them is there a similar situation in the other districts yes the mechanism we have set up across the seven districts okay. because there are two representatives of each district in our part of the united the, the mountain view community development council okay. so we share experiences we share views we share mm. ideas we interact mm. you know on a regular basis this group ha again has managed to brave it across certain borders and has again developed a network and a unit and is playing a significant role in peace building. We are at the point, the community is again stable, we have a new fresh group of youngsters ready to tackle some of the issues in the community and we are here to work with them. I say we are the Yera Youth Foundation going at the seven community already and I say what them balance, them balance a, a, a full amount of joy and tranquility in the area. Through that now, I appreciate it, the whole initiative and everything. Sometimes it take, a, it take a real hard bargain to get it to where we want it. But I just we that we have a fight and don't stop fighting, we get the thing right back to normality. Every district, Labour and PMP, whatever organisation you come, come from, you love your family. You love your kids and you love your friends. And when somebody gets hurt, it's not nice to rejoice. Because same as how you hurt this man, or this woman, child, the same way the next side, when them get hurt too, yeah. you understand them feel it. Mm. So it's just them now to just come together and look into themselves and know, so this thing now nah, make we reach nowhere, you know. What well, I go on and now where I see the man them go, go through and I try to bring the place together with the foundation of the PMI. I read reason pleasing to me. That's why I'm an office step in and join the peace management, you know, and know so well then boy. This is peace and it's peace we, we want because peace is better than war, you know, see it and peace. What war create too much ammo and it's peace is peace and peace within peace you have love. Right now, this has to be a concerted effort where everybody in every era, JLP, PNP, have to stop blaming each other about who did start war from who never start war. Because the older we lose, you know, the older we lose. And we are going to continue to lose if man continue to not have something called dialogue. We have to have the passion to love each other and the passion to love the little picnic where we don't have to talk about now we are going to leave it. It is six o'clock and the sun goes down Someone was killed without guilt A baby in a crib was what he was Shot to the head and now he's dead When I think of the mother Crying over her firstborn child Oh, yeah, bother I would have shot this world's gone We're Jamaica, we're one country, out of many one people. That means that we shouldn't have different, different people living together in one district. One person can't go on that side because they're free. And another person can't go on that side because Ray. No. I think this song can bring peace more than in Mountain View, not just Mountain View alone, but you know, Tivali, Rima, Jungle, yeah. It can, it, it can make a difference, but it, it's up to the persons out there to actually want to make an impact because we singing the song kind of not going to actually say, you know, we not actually so we tell them to stop. We can tell them, but we can make them. It's up to them to actually say, yes, we want to stop. From them listening to the word of the song, 
and them say everybody together where them come from the different area them and thing when them say all of us together and I do the song and listen to the words them can look back and say yeah a real thing and no one say yeah we can push out and stop the violence just have peace in the east, all about Jamaica, not only the east and the We officer give thanks to the Peace Management Initiative, the CSJP and the Sheila Graham, you know? SDC especially, so we are run through the community every day and try to make things work, you know? So they are not chance none, James and them people, and them people are really stick by the youth of my mountain view and try to help them. I to big up the rest of council members like Bertie, Sarge, Khan, Juliet, Donna, Samantha, Courtney, you know, Miss Gurley from Jack Lane, King Orlando, and myself, you know. That project is sell out. Yeah. Jamaica, we're coming at you. Peace all over.